Come, sinner, and repent your wicked deeds. Repent? Are you talking to me? Yes. When I look at your vestments around your chest, your hips, I can tell your sins are many and deep. Say that again. Exactly what were you staring at? Well, mankind is rife with sin, and I am no different. You must acknowledge your misdeeds and confess them to the great Empyreans. By confronting your sinful urges, you will be empowered to resist them. Is that so? You're saying I just need to confess all the bad things I've done? Yes. Confess your darkest sins, my child, assured that none is beyond the forgiveness of the Empyreans. Empyreans, hear my confession. When I was in prison, I instigated a riot and used it to break myself out. Huh? Then I set fire to some warehouses in town and stole a ship to make my getaway. Then I teamed up with some pirates to destroy a military fortress. I killed anyone who got in my way. What? What do you think, father? Will the Empyreans forgive me? I... Uh, uh, I think you should turn yourself into the Abbey and let them help you repent. That's convenient. I'm already planning on going to the Abbey. You see, I'm going to kill their boss, Artorius. I, I need an exorcist over here, quick! Somebody! Anybody! <laughs> That's about how I figured it'd go. Sinner, and repent your wicked deeds. Are you talking to me, perchance? I am. You look so deeply sinful, I wouldn't even know where to begin. Now confess! Oh, how long have I waited to bear my soul to someone? But I've always lacked the courage. Praise be to the Empyreans who have bestowed upon me this chance today! Ah, your devotion to the Empyreans is most... No! It is you who has captured my devotion, my darling! There's no one else I want but you! What? M me But uh, my life is in service to the Empyreans, I... Hush! I want you to look at me the way I look at you! Hold me, darling! Smother me in your embrace! Uh, I don't... I... I... Those were the kind of lines I read in a romance novel. It wasn't even that exciting a book. I wasted so many hours with that piece of trash. Please, forgive me for not putting myself to better use. Ah! Lying! To a priest! How could you? Oh, no. I meant to confess my sins, but instead my confession was another sin! Forgive me, Father, I've transgressed once more. I don't want to forgive you! Come, sinner! And repent your wicked deeds. Who? Me? I don't think I've done much that needs repenting. No, my son. You must be mistaken. For I can tell just from how you dress that a great many sins weigh heavily upon your heart. But it's not too late for you yet. You must confess your sins and repent. <sighs> yeah, I hear you, but I really can't think of anything. Have you ever wielded violence? No. All I wield are my swords. Well, have you hurt anybody with your swords? Yeah, but I haven't been able to land a killing blow yet. I've still got a long way to go. But the next time, I'll kill him. No, no, you have it all wrong. You must repent for how you've used your swords. Oh, I get it. I need to improve my cutting technique, right? That's not what I meant either. Ah, then what do you mean? It's a priest's job to guide the layman, right? You'll have to start speaking more clearly if you want anyone to trust your advice. Get your act together, man. Y yes I'll reflect upon the error of my ways. Wait, what? Come, sinner, and repent your wicked deeds! Are you talking to me? Yes, you, with those eyes that would belong on the Reaper's face. I- Oh? Hey! I, I'm sorry for bothering you, sir. If you don't have anything you need to confess, sir, that's fine. No, actually, there is one thing I'd like to get off my chest. Of course. Go right on ahead. This all happened a long time ago. But this Turtles brought over a painting by the master artist Beryl Benito. 
It was a gorgeous work of art, too beautiful for words. The price was a little steep, but I couldn't help myself. Only later, I found out it was a total fake. So, you want to repent for letting yourself be guided by worldly desires? No, buying it was my decision. I don't have any regrets. Even if the painting itself was fake, my heartfelt admiration for its beauty was real. What are you going on about? Did you say something? N no, uh, then for what do you wish to repent? The truth is, when I saw that painting, I didn't have enough money on me. So I uh, swiped 100 gold from my little sister's hidden savings. That's uh, the one part I wish I'd done differently. <laughs> I see. Fear not, my son. No matter what the Empyreans may decide, I know your sister would forgive you. I hope so. Come, sinner, and repent your wicked deeds! Do you mean me? Yes. Or at least I would. But perhaps you're too young to have done anything to repent. Uh, no. There is something. I've kept it a secret so far. But I'll confess it now. And I shall listen, my son. Not too long ago, I found a slug in the forest. And I read in a book that if you sprinkle salt on a slug, it'll shrink. I wanted to try it out for myself. So... So you sprinkled salt on the slug. It's true, that was not a good act. But if the experience taught you to respect life and its fragility, then the slug's sacrifice was not in vain, and... No, that's not what happened. I messed up, and I put sugar on the slug, not salt. And... And then... The sugar attracted a whole bunch of ants to the slug. And they... It was awful. <laughs> I'm so sorry, slug. <laughs> You didn't deserve that. It's okay. I forgive you. It was all a terrible accident. There's one more thing. I wanted to see what would happen if I poured sugar water down an ant hill. And <laughs> I'm sorry to you too, ants. <laughs> Kids can sure be weirdly cruel sometimes. Come, sinner, and repent your wicked deeds. Yes, father. I am here. Uh, no, no, I wasn't talking to you. Surely an exorcist has nothing to repent. Truly, the sinners are those people you're with, who come into this cathedral and say whatever they please. No, father. I've done a great many things that I regret. For instance, I once put blind, unquestioning faith in the Abbey's ideals of reason and justice. In making any decision, I used not my head, or my gut, or my heart, but instead relied on the Abbey's answers. Ah. I lorded my authority over those I thought to be below me, when I didn't even know the truth of how things actually worked. What? I was telling other people how to live their lives, when I needed to look at my own flaws instead. Ah. But I won't repent for my past deeds. To seek forgiveness from the Empyreans would be to repeat those very same mistakes. I will follow my own judgment now, as I strive to make amends for the misdeeds and regrets of my past. Please, Lady Exorcist, listen to my confession, for I have much to repent. Huh? Father, why are you crying? Come, sinner, and repent your wicked deeds. Why are you whispering? Because everyone else in your group has been nothing but trouble. Not a single one of them will truly repent. What kind of place do they think this holy sanctuary is? I don't know what to tell you. You'll have to take it up with them. I can't. You know what they're like, right? If I complain about it to them, they'll just beat the stuffing out of me. I wish I could tell you that deep down they're all good people, but... <sighs> That's why you need to confess something. 
What? Why me? Please, I just want to hear a legitimate confession for once. If you don't hurry up, I'll put a curse on you. <sighs> oh, all right. I'm so sorry for all the trouble that my companions have caused you, Father. Forgive me. No, that's not going to work. I guess I'm not quite in the mood to forgive that yet. <laughs> well, maybe you should repent for being such a petty, mean old priest. <laughs>